Hey guys, Denise Salcedo here for Red Carpet Report, and today we're at the Grove for the premiere of an American Girl story, Melody 1963, Love Has to Win. Hey, nice to meet you, I'm Denise. How you doing? I'm a hugger. Oh yes, good. Do you ever have those awkward moments where you're like, is it a hug, is it a handshake, what are we doing? I do, but I'm not decide. I'm a southern girl, I'm from Mississippi, and I'm like, we're hugging. <laughs> Makes it much easier if one of us knows what we're doing. Alright, so Tina, I gotta ask, you know, what was it like mixing both the American girl world into a serious topic like the civil rights movement? Mm -hmm. Well, I think the fact that, one, when you had a very powerful script that Alice and McDonald wrote, um, that naturally the majority of the groundwork was already in formation. And American Girl and Amazon were so behind what the project had to say. And I thought that they took a very bold stance on that, of making this something that's more than about kids, but about family. And I think that that's something that their dolls represent. You know, they've always had a cause, whether, you know, it's Abby, a girl that was in slavery times, or, you know, dealing with a young girl who had polio, really looking at issues that are tough and putting it into a play. Yeah, it's a doll, but it also has a message. And I think that's the thing that I really appreciate that, yes, you can have commerce, but you can also have commerce and art come together and have it be in a very successful way. So, you know, this movie coming out, this special coming out in, on the eve of the presidential election, yeah. how does that tie in for the team and everything? What would you want What would you want to get across for the message to the viewers? Well, the one thing we really want to get across and um, to the viewers is that this is something that it takes place in 1963, but we are in 2016 and we are seeing some of the same patterns that are going on. And I think this film is more timely than ever. And the major thing I find with film and television, it should start dialogue between people. It's something that should spark conversation. And this is a film that people can watch a grandparent along with their child, along with their grandchild. And you have three different generations really talking about that and to look at what's going on in our political climate and our social climate now. And to really know that these things have to be changed. And even though it's tough subjects ahead, a young child can make a difference by having their eyes open and being awake to the situations. And that's the way change starts. You must be, have your eyes open in order to see what needs to change and to be a voice that needs to be heard. And having Marseille as the lead, why did you guys pick her? They picked Marseille. I mean, Marseille is just a great actress, um, but she's such a beautiful soul. Uh, I have told the girl, I'm like, you're 12, but in 10 years, we're going to kick it. Right now, i got to kick it with your parents because I'm a little old. I can't quite kick it with a 12-year-old. But she really understands the material, really pushes herself to understand what's going on. And the fact that, you know, she brought up Trayvon Martin. She was bringing up all of these current issues on her own um, and her being from the South as well. You know, we had a good connection, a lot of y'all <laughs> was involved, but you know, about knowing what's going on, she's aware of these things. And so for her to be able to take this role, understand it, and also she had never seen the four little girls footage and we had to show it to her. And she was like, oh wow, this reminds me of this right here going on today. And so um, that was something that was both, it was, it was heartbreaking, but at the same time inspiring. That you know you have such a wonderful actress who is just ready to really take on these difficult issues. And um, I really, you couldn't ask for a better lead. You really couldn't. Well, thank you so much, Tina, for talking to me today and giving me that great insight. It was nice meeting you and I can't wait to watch it. Thank you I so almost much. forgot. Oh, I totally am so sorry I hit you. Like, that was a hard, that's, that was a hard that's, bump. That's a, that's a good love hug. Right yeah. It's not love until someone gets hurt. Exactly right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. And in the comments below, let us know what is your favorite American Girl doll? You can catch Melody 1963 on Amazon.